is Sally here, the drone girl, and I'm here showing you how Skycatch's software works. Skycatch is a company that makes 3D renderings using drones. It's primarily used in the construction business to be more efficient in the data they gather, but today we're just going to make a 3D map here of Treasure Island in California. So we'll start by opening up the app. Here we are on Treasure Island. So we'll go ahead and simply draw out the map of what we're going to do today. So we click on the pencil, just like you're drawing in paint or whatever you like to draw on your computer, but you'll do it right here, is you can see where we are. We'll take our drone up Avenue H, cross 8th Street, come back down, pass us, hello, and go across. So we have our little square. This is the route that we're going to fly today. Skycatch actually has a really cool feature that we can set the altitude. Our drone is going to make a map all by itself and we need to make sure it's not going to hit the trees or the buildings. So the highest tree out here on Treasure Island is 35 meters. So we're actually going to come in here, press the settings, and we can change the resolution, which means we change the altitude. On Skycatch, the lowest altitude is 40 meters, which means we'll have a resolution of 2 centimeters, and it also means that we're high enough that we don't have to worry about hitting any trees. It's uploading waypoints to the drone. Our connection says it's successful. Here it goes. All we have to do is just hit take off one button and it's ready to go. Check this out! Our first ever fully autonomous flight just landed. The Phantom's right here behind me and I just got a notification from the app. Your mission is complete. Transfer the images from your SD card to Skycatch for uploading, so we'll do that later. And otherwise, it gives me some information. My flight time was 13 minutes and one second, so we estimated right. And it took 313 photos that we're gonna take and put into a 3D map. I took the photos generated from my drone, uploaded them to Skycatch's site, and Skycatch emailed me back within an hour saying my data had been turned into a map that I can now annotate and share with my team. The whole process to make a map took about an hour and a half total, but just about 10 minutes of actual work from me. See you next time!